What's up everyone on YouTube, your boy the MF Accelerate coming at you live with 100 Days of Yu-Gi-Oh! Where I took a look at a different deck every day for 100 days. Today we're taking a look at an older deck. This is Gokies. They were meta once, and I think they can still do some stuff today. So basically an archetype all about spamming monsters, searching cards, making a bunch of Link monsters. We got a whole bunch of Link monsters, whatever, so it's a good old time today. In our three plus random duels against random opponents, so let us begin. Yes! All right, our first opponent is just plain old Vic. We want to go second because we're battle yeah, battle focused. I can't talk. What can I say? Second, we go. All right, what do we got? Well, something. It's not the greatest something, but. It could maybe it depends on what we get next. Up against Noble Knights actually playing Merlin. Interesting. Hello Madrot. How are you doing? Alright, so this is Noble Knights. We all know how that goes. He's gonna be just making that big old monster. Give it all of them equips. I got evenly matched though, so I can like force him to banish all of his stuff. So, real quick, well, before we skip ahead, because we already know how this is going to work, I got shoutouts of the day to do. Almost caught up with all those. So, today's shoutouts going to go to Mr. K Star and Kusaki, who are both longtime subscribers, cool dudes, both. And yeah, just going to see his old. And that's some old stuff right there. So, I'm going to skip ahead until it's my turn, and we can turn things around on our opponent. Yeah! All right, interesting. He actually made Kustin in. Usually don't see him. So what I'm going to do, a special summon Junk Forward, because I don't have any monsters and I can do this. I'm going to summon my Marauding Captain, and that will allow me another summon. This way we can just start making lots of stuff. Let's go ahead and make some more stiff in the form of Isolde. Hello, it's Isolde. And now Isolde's going to go off... And I'm going to get a very important card, that being Super X. Super X is one of the most important of them. Uh, let's see here. Can make another result, but that doesn't really help me in any way. So I'm going to play Transmodify. I get rid of this dude, and I get rid of, and I bring out a level three. I wish your effect was when you were special summoned too, my dude. But that's not how the world we live in. But thankfully. Headback goes off, and I can grab my uh, Goki rematch. Yes, that way I can make things next turn. It'll be pretty sweet. Actually, I lied. I can do it right now. Uh, I can't blow this up, though. That's the tricky thing. Can only blow up so much stuff. So I'm going to go ahead and, you know, crash into his old. That way my Twist Cobra goes off, and I can search out Hugbear. Because if I summon Hugbear, I can have the attack of a monster. Doesn't sound that impressive, but it's what I can do. Kustinen, huh? The thing that bounces stuff. Uh-huh. Very interesting choice. It's going to bounce me now. Ooh. There goes everything I knew and loved. What is that? Oh, it's the new guy. Uh, the new gear freed. I've heard of you... Let's see, equip and a face up monster on the field, this card's an equip spell, and a monster effect activated. Do stuff. And then he made our Tauragus. Interesting. So I'm going to take a smidge of damage. I can't do anything about that, but I still have Struggly Battle. So basically, I can force him to banish all but one of his cards. Alright, so basically he either keeps this, or he keeps this. If I survive. No, I do not. He just... <laughs> oh, I was so close. I wasn't really that close. What can I say? Noble Knights, too powerful for me. Too powerful for the Gokies. Oh, well. At least we got to see this guy, And even though he didn't do much. All right, let's go for another duel. Try to do a little bit better and try to get some more Goki stuff going. Yeah! Alrighty, second opponent, Lord Farago. Alright, I haven't started with a loss in a while. I feel a little down. We're up against 60 cards somethings, too. Opening hand is a lot better, though. When you start with reinforcements, that means you get Super X, and Super X is one of our most important things. We're up against Shadows, Light Swarms. It's one of those decks, isn't it? 
It's one of those decks. Yes, it's one of those decks. He's basically just trying to make like some crazy board. Probably gonna make Winda next. I would imagine. He's gonna try and lock me out of my special summons. Luckily, well, actually, Winda has like 2,600 attack, right? No, he made Construct. Okay. Okay, so that's what that is. This is one of those decks, like I said. So now he's gonna send Falco. He already did that effect, though, so he can't do it again. But he can bring out Black Luster Soldier Boy. And that's a big boy right there. All right. That's okay, I think. Um, hmm. Let's see. Ooh, we got Headbat. That's good. That's a good one. All right, here's what we're going to do. Reinforcement of the army. We're going to get Suprex. Wish I had a good way of getting rid of this thing. I need to normal summon something to do it, though. So what I'm going to do... I'm going to start off by special summoning forward in case I need forward. I'm going to normal summon my Suprex. Suprex is going to summon Scorpio. And then Headbat... Wait, I was trying to check something. I just want to check... Uh, no... No, okay. Now, Headbat's effect is I can send this to the grave, target this, do that. Um, so let's see, special summon. Yeah, sadly that counts as a special summon, so that would just blow it up regardless. I could make Boral Sword. I could make Boral Load, too. Hmm. I don't know if Boral Load works on Shadow Construct, though. I might. It might, it might. Uh, I wish I could summon right there. Okay, you know what? I'm just going to do the things I like to do. Because that's what today is about, is doing the things I want to do. Whether it's the greatest thing in the world or not. All right. So now we're going to get three cards. Can I get another head... Eh, let's see, I don't need another head bat now I think about it. I get the field spell. That would be cool and all. All right, so I want another Suprex, that's for sure. I do want one of those. I want... Uh, who do I want? Headbat. Give me a headbat. And then grab for me, please. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm just going to grab her Scorpio. Just because I can. And now we shall play Goki Rematch. So she gets Cobra back and we shall get Suprex back. Those two right there. And then, I could make, let me think, who's my Link 3, boys? I mean, I've got you. Every monster it points to doesn't help me. Uh, let's see. No, no, no. Hmm. I'm just going to make this because... Oh, wait, no. Cancel. Cancel that one. I'm just going to battle now. I'm just going to say goodbye, Black Luster Soldier. And then... Let's see... Target Goki. Yes. I'm going to attribute my Super X and give this 1800 attack. Do lots of damage. Because lots of damage is always a good thing. Um... Yeah, that's just the thing. I don't have quite enough to destroy him yet. And this construct just auto-destroys Goki the Great Ogre. It's a sad but true thing, man. It's a sad but true thing. Let me think. The best way to get rid of this construct is going to be to get out my Goki Ogre and then summon something normally and then punch this in the face. I mean, I've got the min I got the stuff to do it. But at the same time, I don't got the stuff to do it. He's just doing more light sworn stuff. He's trying to mill out that deck so he's got all the stuff he ever wanted. That's what I'd like to do. That's why I run. Hello, sorry. Okay, he's got Soryuja now. Well, that means that Goki the Great Ogre won't work anymore. Although at the same time. If he tacks into Goki, I can just tribute Twist Cobra, so I'm safe in that department, and I actually have a plan for getting rid of that. 
I do have my blade ogre still, because I didn't summon it, like a silly person. So now, basically what this does is, I can tribute something it points to, to get my monster to attack. So, I can summon it to this zone. I can summon it to this zone, gain power, and then I can tribute Saryuja. That is an option I have, depending on what he makes. He might make another wind, uh, or he might make another const, no wait, construct is one. The first time I'm thankful that construct is at one is right now. I know. Some of you might be thinking, why would you want it more than that? Answer, because reasons. Sorry to say, my dude, Shekinaga is too small. I mean, it would be nice if you put that in defense mode, but at the moment, it's just a walking target. So now, you're going to do that, and I'm going to be like, nope. I'm going to tribute this, boost my monster. Did you forget I could do that, my friend? Or, I guess you did not forget that. All right, but Twist Cobra is going to get me a rematch. Yeah. All right. So sadly, my great ogre is no more. Shekinaga is big again. So during the play turn, a special summon monster activates its effects while you have a doll in the hand. All right. That's slightly annoying. All right. What do we got? I've got Super X. I've got through Scorpio. I've got Headbat. I probably should have just... Uh, I, I did something silly again. I did something silly once more. Um, Do I want to just make Goki the Great Ogre right now and then beat over his stuff? I kind of want to make Great Ogre and just beat over his stuff. Yes. Uh, I could put it here, though. Hmm. No. I, got, I, I don't think I want to do that. And just in case, I need to make the Blade Ogre again. Just in case. Alright, so what do I want to my hand? I want a Super X to my hand. Always get a Super X. It's very important. I'm uh, making... Get Turn Face. That way I can bring back my Ogre just in case. Get me a Twisty Cobra Mat. No, not Twist Cobra. Get me Hug Bear. Get me Hug Bear. I think Hug Bear will be more useful. Alright, let's speed over Shekinaga. There you go. Your Shekinaga is no more. Although you are going to get uh, the spell. Alright, so here's what we're going to do. Um, yeah. Go QB match. Twist Cobra and Octa Stretch back. That way I can get the searches off of them. Do that. Bring back... Uh, my Blade Ogre. Put that right here. And then Octa Stretch and Twist Cobra go off. I'm going to get more searches. And let's see. I want... Uh, what do I want? Get me a headbat. That way I can make another Link 3. And give me another Twist Cobra. I think that will work. Alright. I can't tribute it. Uh, it's because I don't have a battle face this turn. That's fine. I'm still 3,000. I'm still bigger than this. Alright. Let's see how it goes. It's, it's, it's still anybody's game. Still anybody's game. He's gonna make another Shekin Naga, though. Hmm. But I still have my three-card combos. Or, you know, I got my Super X going into Hog Bear, going to Headbat. Except not... Nah, well, I can bring back my Goat Wraith Ogre. That's the awesome thing. I can just keep bringing it back with Turn Face. Basically, I blow up a Goki, and I get a Goki back from the grave. Except now I can't do that because he's got Winda. But at the same time, I've got Hug Bear. And this is why I got Hug Bear, is so that I can just beat over Winda. Basically, Winda makes it so I can only special summon once per turn. Which is going to be an annoying thing. Alright, the Strudo is coming out. So are you going to sync with this? Or did you just feel like summoning the Strudo? 
I have a feeling you just meant to summon Destrota because who wouldn't want to just do that for the heck of it? Alright. So I can only special summon the once per turn. So, see, I'm going to lose 300. That's fine. I'm going to tribute his monster. That way he doesn't have it anymore. I think, barring this being a battle trap, which, yes, I would imagine he might have a battle trap. Do not doubt it. Hugbear, come forth. Hugbear will halve the attack of Wind. I can't turn face, but I can attack Winda. Is this going to be game? Not quite. He had El Shadal Fusion. I, I knew it was going to be something, but come on, man. He had another Winda. This is fine, because I still have two attacks this turn. So barring this being Falco or whatever, I should be okay still. So yeah, now you're going to get another one. You and your recoverability, I swear. It will be the death of us all. Target a monster, destroy it. Let's see. Fine. Hugbear goes off and I get another card. Give me the octopus, man. And that, maybe. Okay, there's a clean win. Clean win against Shadals, of all things. So, Gokies, we had a rough start, but... We're back on track. Let's go for duel three. See what we can do. Yes! All right, final opponent, Little Pip. We'd like to go second, and we'd like to win one more duel. That's what I'd prefer. Opening hand, though, not great. This is actually a bit of a brick, because we've got all of our high-level Gokis in hand, which is weird, because I pl uh, other than Riscorpio... Uh, I don't play any other, like, high-level or uh, high-level monsters. I mean, Hugbear, Double Team, Moonsault, those are all one-ofs. Oh, you normal summon a Scorpio without a tribute, since I have no monsters. So that's at least something. But it's not much. What is this? is Phantom? Or Mecha Phantom Beast? Uh, I've never played against them before. I, I know Dracosack, obviously, but I don't know what the rest he do. Okay, so this guy gets level increased by the total level of the tokens. Okay. Is this a tuner? No, it's not. Is this a tuner? No. What is he up to? I don't know. Like I said, never played against Mecha Phantom Beasts. All I know is that they summon a bunch of tokens, and then that changes their levels so that they can do Trachosac and Platinum Gadget. All right. Platinum Gadget it is. What else have you? Uh, when a token summoned, summon a token. Okay. Interesting. But I need a Super X. Downbeat. Interesting. I mean, that's something. That is certainly a something. So I'm going to summon Riscorpio, because he's obviously my best bet at this point. And now I'm going to beat over... Um, let's just beat over the gadget and see if he actually has any gadgets in his deck. We'll see. Well, you shall see indeed. No, he does not. All right. I think I'll save downbeat for now because I don't want to do it right this second. Basically, I can tribute with Scorpio and then I can summon a monster that's one level lower than him. So basically, I can summon something like Super X or, um... What was the other target? I think mostly it's just him. It's mostly for like Suprex into Cobra, Cobra into Headbat, things of that nature. Okay, Tether Wolf. I mean, if anything, all these tokens he's giving is going to make for a sick bunch of Link monsters. That or he'll go for Libay. Libay? I'm just curious, are you going to summon Libay? You have the option. I'm just, I'm not saying he has to summon Libay to get my respect. He has my respect just playing these. Probably should include the train suit. Ah, oh, who would have known? You got to do the math in your head, man. Be just like, you know, what levels can I make these wolves and these raptors? They're all like planes and 
no matter what you call these. This is a jet. This is a helicopter. This is another kind of jet. What is he summoning now? Another gadget. Interesting. He just... He's cycling through his deck. Let's see. Inheritor. Alright. What now? What next? Ah, there's the boy. There is the boy. Dracosack. I should have known. Should have been prepared. So I can't destroy it so long as he has one of these abundant tokens. That's the thing. I really wish I had my evenly matched right now. That would be really good, because then I could force him to banish a bunch of stuff. But sadly, do not have that. But I have a Scorpio, so that's good. Um, what am I doing? Super X. Let's see. I could hug bear. So basically, I can do I can subplex, hug bear, hug bear halves this, downbeat hug bear in order to get to Scorpio, get more stuff. I think that's exactly what I'm gonna do. So super X. Super X goes off. Hopefully. Thank you. Go into Hug Bear. Hug Bear halves the attack of his Dracosack. Possibly. I mean, he has two set cards. I have to imagine one of them's some form of disruption. Downbeat. But why can't I? Warrior, warrior. What? And that's odd. Why couldn't I? I mean, it doesn't matter either way, but the same point in time, I was kind of going for something here. I was like, kind of trying to do something. I mean, it's fine either way, but why couldn't I get that to Scorpio? He's level 5. Weird. Alright. What do we want to make? Can make Isold, but that is not what I want to do. Um, I'm gonna make. Hmm. You know, no, I'm gonna go for rematch. Let's just summon all the Gokis in the world. We shall summon all of the Gokis, and I might go for Borload. You know, I. Hmm. Let me think about that. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna steal your stuff. Bore load, come forth. And then I'm gonna just search some things. I'm gonna search all the things. Triple search. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna do that now, so I don't have to risk hitting the wrong button later. So I'm gonna get Super X. I'm gonna get another rematch. I can only do it once per turn, but regardless. And I'm going to get a head back. Alright. So let's go ahead and attack Dracosack. That way I can steal it. Here you go. Then I'm going to attack Gadget. And then... I'm going to go into main phase 2. I'm going to detach this material. I'm going to pop Dracosec. Or, I don't get to pop my Dracosec. Oh, right, it's detached to do one thing and then detached to do something else. I am a silly person. But, I can still do this. I can make Phoenix. And then Phoenix, I'm going to detach and get rid of one of his set cards. Heavy Dust Storm, not going to be useful against me. I don't play traps like that. Alright, so this is more like what I was hoping for. Alright. So I've cost you your boss monster. And you've wasted ten cards. What do you have now? You have three tokens. Don't give up hope. You still have things. Things to do stuff. Only thing is, whatever he summons... Oh, it's Link Spider. Makes perfect sense. Perfect sense, I tell you. Alright, so now that you've summoned this, what are you going to do? You could summon... What? I wonder. The sky's the limit. Another Link Spider? Interesting. 
All right, and then he's going to make his own phoenix. I guess he doesn't run the other one. Oh, no. Unicorn. Oh, man, he's going to bounce my boar load. That kind of stinks. Um, wait, he's bouncing this? Why would you bounce Phoenix? Why not bounce Boar Load? That seems kind of an oversight. I mean, either way, I was going to protect Phoenix. Maybe he didn't want me to have Phoenix? Odd. Regardless, I think I've got this. I'm thinking I might have this. So let's go ahead, do the thing we do. Gonna go ahead and swarm the board with our Gokis. I have a weird feeling he has a mirror force. I mean, he plays some rather odd techs. So, I have this feeling... He's got something now. What is it? Xyz were born. Bulls. Could be a lot of things. Could be a lot of things that I don't know what it... Oh, and permanence. Oof. Well, don't that just beat all... Luckily, I have rematch. If I didn't have that, then I'd be in trouble. And I could make it double. What is... You have another card to play? What is it this time? MST negate? No? Yes? Maybe? I've got my Goki rematch. What can I say? Heavy... Or, not heavy. Uh, Phantom Beast. Mecha Phantom Beast. Interesting indeed. Um, I'm just gonna draw on the fence mode. I'm just gonna make the ogre because I can. Search more things in case bad things happen. This is basically Goki. You make a link and then you search all of the things. I'm gonna get my field spell because I want to at least get the field spell once. Super X, get it into my hand, please. And then, where's my other rematch? I don't got it. I'm going to get a face turn then. That works too. Activate field spell. So when I destroy stuff, I get to remove counters. If I lose all the counters, I can summon a whole butt munch of Gokies. And then I can get more counters. It's a pretty fancy card, I'll tell you what. Uh, that's... And I'm going to do this. I'm just going to summon Headbat, boost that ogre's attack. Oh, well, that's fine. It's not like I wanted cool stuff or anything. Baka. Um, face turn. Get me the Scorpio just because he's the one that's closest. And then head bat, get me another card please, get me another face turn, I can use it later, let's go ahead and put this poor boy out of his misery. I'm not saying he's done yet, because he's going to have light points. No wait, no he's not, I can't count. Alright, that was an interesting duel, I have to say, Mecha Phantom Beast, huh? Mecha Phantom Beast. Alright, let's go into the end screen. See what we have today. Yes! Alrighty, Gokies 2019-ish, sort of, kind of, well, Gokies in 2019. Doing just fine. They could be better. I could definitely see them getting, uh, I don't know exactly what they would need to survive, but something. You know, they can still do the stuff they want to do. And sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. So, I hope, regardless, you guys enjoyed the Gokies. Tomorrow is going to be Shino Bird Ritual Monsters. Don't worry, I'm working on it. i got to make it perfect. Regardless, I hope you guys enjoyed. Smash the like button if you liked it. I'll see you guys next time with more Yu-Gi-Oh! Duels. Take care, everybody.